how's it going guys tech here and in this video we are going to explore the whole streamlabs because there are new things added to streamlabs recently and it will get easier to know and how to get things done so this is the default home screen layout you see when you first open the app and here on top left there are two parallel lines which will get you into the whole capabilities of the things you can do in streamlabs but let's get into that later so first of all you will see here at top right the camera icon where you can actually select what camera to use for streaming like front camera wide ultra wide and main camera depending on which iphone or phone you have then right here beside that there is another option to switch between scenes like intros and videos to outros then you go down starting from left the first option is to simply flip camera then a mic you know what it does then the live button to go live then the chat icon to see the chats if you are streaming through your phone's camera and streamlabs and finally in the event list you can set all the live widgets activities and control them okay so now we can finally get into the real interesting part so first when you click those parallel lines at top left you will see a bunch of options and at top you will also see upgrade to ultra button that is their premium subscription for all the live stream elements and you need the subscription to use the premium features which are available in the application. Then under that you will see themes where you can select all the available stream layouts and probably click on them to use them if you have their premium subscription. Then if you go to rewards, here you can actually redeem some elements for 24 hours when you simply just live stream or complete these tasks and you get it points to redeem them. It's quite useless but still better than nothing then you can almost get them for free. Then in the scenes, here you can actually set different scenes like layouts, visual templates and show various other elements on screen for your audience while you are live streaming. You can also add custom layouts and use pre-made scenes that is available in the Streamlabs. Now the real path starts. If you tap screen capture, here you will get all the options available for streaming such as if you want to stream on multiple platforms at the same time or by connecting only one account at a time then when you tap next here you will get to create an event continue with the existing one or you can schedule a new event okay now the tricky stuff in account settings this is where all of you go wrong and get a broadcast null error or any other error that stops your stream midway if you want to live stream on youtube or tiktok or facebook then simply log in like i have logged in with my main youtube channel and then after that go to this last option called rtmp and try finding your rtmp key and url for the platform you want to stream on i have uploaded a separate video about how to find your rtmp setup but for youtube for other platform you can see on google and if you do this you can prevent any broadcast error hopefully then we have a really handy feature called disconnect protection but this is only available when you are using the mobile version of Streamlabs. So when you start a stream through your phone, you receive a private server hosted on their cloud. This is basically protecting your live stream if you accidentally or somehow lose network connection midway through your stream until you can re-establish your connection. But this only works for Twitch platform and this is enabled by default. Then we have alert options. Here you can enable or disable the alert you want to show on your stream and there are a bunch of elements that you can enable. So finally the streaming part. Here you can set the base of your stream like audio quality to resolution, frame rates, bit rates, camera settings and literally any other settings that are essential to streaming. Though you also get some exclusive settings for Twitch alone. So that's pretty much it and everything about Streamlabs. You can also use remote functions on a separate device to control your stream elements that I'll be showing you in a separate video. For now, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.